Next, we're going to drain the coolant because some of the coolant flows through the plenum and uh, it would be really messy and wet if we forgot to do this. So we just got to drain enough so that it's, you know, it's lower than the, lower than the plenum. So first we'll remove the part that says never open hot. Well, I haven't started this car in months, so I don't think it's going to be hot. Oh, so, well, here, we'll give you a better view here. Oops. That's this guy right here at the top of the reservoir. I heard a little bit of vacuum or pressure release. Not sure which it was, but it... It, I heard it equalizing. And then what we're going to do is turn the what's it called? A silcock? A petcock? It's a funny name. And uh, it's the valve at the bottom of the radiator. Now this is one of, this is the part that for Corvettes, you know, if you haven't looked it up or done it in a while and the car is on the ground, it's hard to it's hard to reach, you know, to know where to look to find this this drain. Corvettes are so low, it's hard to even lift them. That's why I put, I put it on this scissors lift. Um, mainly to make the camera angles a little better, but it uh, for this job, but it helps with things like Getting at the radiator drain. So we'll, we'll get a camera over to the drain to show you where it is and how you can find it. <laughs> 